Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I once again have to apologize for not streaming as of late. I've been really, really busy. Um, but, you know, it, thing, things are getting in the way a little bit. I wouldn't say really, but, um, you know, I, I got some things that I have to get, you know, take care of. Plus, I've been sleeping in really, really late as of, as of late. So, you know, it's just whatever at this point. I'm actually getting ready to drive in a little early-ish into work, uh, probably in the next hour or so. Um, and that's pretty much how my week has been so far. Uh, but yeah, I, I should have um, streaming back up the normal by next week. I am definitely going to stream this weekend, probably some VR chat. Um, if not VR chat, then most likely something. Cause I wanna, I wanna stream something. God damn it! It's been way too long since I've freaking streamed anything. Um, but this weekend, I'm probably also going to going to take care of this apartment for once. Because as you can can probably tell, that table is getting all cluttered up. So I should probably take a little bit of li little bit of a personal personal um, time to uh, clean up everything. And to like make it a little more presentable. So, you know, there's that. But other than that, um, I don't really have much of anything going on uh, as of right now. Um, other than just haven't really been able to stream. Um, I'm not sure if I said this in the latest video, but I did just pay rent this past Friday. So this week has just been more or less me trying to catch up. Um, I did just get in advance and I did just get myself something crazy. And, um, and it, it, it might sound a little crazy, but at the end of the day, I hope... You guys don't blame me, but I got a ham. That's right, motherfuckers. I got a, I got a fucking ham right there. Yep, there, right there. I got literally food for next week, <laughs> other than hot pockets and some fucking snacks. Although I would prefer Jose Olay's, but Walmart didn't have that at the time, so. Deli Max or Deli Mex is going to have to do. But yeah, I got myself a ham. Now I'm just going to have to learn how, uh, how I can uh, cook it. Um, or just eat it raw or something. I don't know. I kind of want to cook it though. I'd really rather would prefer to cook it. So if anybody has any good um, recipes for me to try, um, I have a. I want to get a roasting pan. That might have to wait till this weekend, so, <clears throat> so you know, there's that. I'm not going to cook it probably until at least later this weekend, probably, um, either Saturday or Sunday, so, you know, there's that. Speaking of which, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream... Uh, this next thing on YouTube or Twitch, but I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be reading a book on a server that I am a moderator on that I'm officially promoting right now. I am a part of a, now don't judge me, don't judge me, stop it, Billy, Sarah, stop it. All right. Anyways, I'm a part of this baby fur community. Now, before anybody says anything, no, I'm not wearing diapers. In fact, I'm anything other than an adult baby or diaper lover or, or whatever the heck it's called. ABDL, I think it's called. But um, I'm none of that. I'm just a moderator on a server that, that has a lot of friendly people on it. So if, if you're into that kind of stuff or you want to be part of a community that's full of very friendly people, then I'll go ahead and post an invite link down in the description below 
so you guys can enjoy this very wonderful community. But um, since it is technically my responsibility, if people are going to act up in the server from my invite leak, I'll take full responsibility, ban anybody that decides to, um, well, decides to try to ruin this community. And I guess I just won't promote it anymore. I don't know. I mean, we're trying to, we're trying to make this community as a family friendly community as possible. So it's something that I've, I've been really proud to become a part of. Um, plus it has a few friends of mine in it. So, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to help a few friends out. Plus, like I said, I'm a moderator. So if you're going to freaking act up when I'm a fucking moderator, you know, you're going to get your ass kicked or banned or whatever. Anywho, uh, this weekend and starting this weekend, I'm going to be reading a book um, on the server. It's going to be either The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings. Um, and it's most likely going to be The Hobbit at this point. But um, I'm going to be reading, starting to read The Hobbit, uh, most likely, and um, leading up to The Lord of the Rings. Now... I don't have the Hobbit. Uh, I found a um, a thing online so I can read the Hobbit to everybody. But I do have a physical copy of the Lord of the Rings right here, so you know I will be able to at least read the Lord of the Rings from my own physical library. So you know there is that. Anywho, um, if you guys want to join, I'll be reading. Uh, starting Saturday at around 5 p.m. ish, um, for either 4 or 5 p.m. ish. I haven't entirely decided as of yet, uh, but I've chosen that specific time because, well, in the UK it's nearly nighttime and it'd be going on evening here on the East Coast. So I think it'd be pretty nice to do something like that. Tell, um, tell like a few chapters of a story that I really love. And then, I guess uh, those living in the UK could go to bed, and then the rest could just hang out, do whatever. I'm not entirely sure, but um, yeah, I I I've been trying to uh, get the server active, more active. Try to invite more people to it. Try to get um, you know more of a community growing, and that's that's what the eventual goal that I'm trying to get for this server. So, like I said, I'm accepting full responsibility for the events and for um, anybody that joins the server under any of my invites and anybody that I've personally invited in general. So, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, if you are intending on joining the server simply because you don't like me, you're trying to piss me off, or you're trying to ruin something good, don't, or you're going to get banned instantly. Don't. Um, with that also being said, I'm going to attempt to reopen my personal server. So if you guys want to join my server again, that might happen within the next week or so. I know I said that I was going to uh, keep it close for the rest of the month because of the recent raids and the recent people just coming in and trying to ruin everybody's fun. So I'm most likely going to reopen my servers or, or I'm re I'm going to reopen my Discord server to um, to my Patreon. So if you want to join my server, all you have to do is just click on my Patreon link down below. I'll I will eventually update Patreon after I get done rec uh, finish recording this, and um, I'll update the link there. That way, I don't have to update. The description every time I change the invite link so if an invite link doesn't work on the patreon page just let me know let me know and I'm I may or may not send you a new invite link but with that being said if you're if you've been banned on the server and you're trying to get on the server and you're telling me oh I can't excuse me your invite link doesn't work I'm trying to get on but your invite link doesn't work trust me it works 
it only works to the people that aren't banned. So if you're banned on my server, you're probably banned for a reason. So, you know. But anyways, yeah, like I said, I will reopen my Discord, but the invite link will be on my Patreon instead of YouTube description. Uh, speaking of which, if you guys haven't checked out my Patreon, I have uh, a, a few Discord rank. Um, uh, rank, what, whatchamacallit, for, uh, for support. So if you want to support me, you want a special rank, you want a special rank caller, so on and so forth. <clears throat> Basically, if you want to hang out with me in future videos and future streams... This is the way to do it. I know I've been saying, eh, I, I usually like to play alone. Well, this is this is how you get to play with me. So I'm I'm letting the world know right now that this is the only way to play games with me. I'm not going to be accepting random invites from now on from people simply because, well, it's kind of true. I'd rather just play at my own speed. But if you're that desperate to want to play with me, I hate to say it, but you're going to have to pay something. So if you pay something, then I will definitely, or if you if you pay for uh, the super duper rank, I think you'd be first in, uh, you'd be literally first in line to uh, to play games with me. So you know, there's that. So games such as VR Chat. The Crew 2, anything that's multiplayer based. So, you know, there's that. <clears throat> and in the eventual future, I might do Jackbox Party Pack on stream and do, um, do the um, code first for um, those that are in the super duper rank. And, uh, just go on go on from there but until then i currently have nobody supporting me on patreon and until, when that happens i will start thinking anybody who supports me on patreon you want a shout out i, I think there's a certain shout out rank or no a, a, yeah a, a certain shout out price which i think is ten dollars i can't remember but uh yeah there's that you want you want me to give you a shout out ten dollars i'm kidding no, actually, no, I'm not kidding, because I need to make money somehow. I, I, again, like I said in my previous video, I'd hate to ask for money. I'd hate to ask for people to send money. I really do. Supporting somebody just simply means that, supporting. And like I said, I have a wonderful system of ranks and um, prices and whatnot. Everything is affordable, cheap. In my personal opinion, it's fairly cheap. Uh, like, honestly, if if you want to play games with me, then I think that's 25 or 30 some odd dollars for the super duper rank. And then for the color, color uh, for your own personal color, that's an extra $5. So if you want, or so if you're already the super duper rank and you're trying to get to the color changer, I would... I would say, all right. Well, wait until next month, so that, uh, the, so that in the next month you're not paying an extra thirty dollars, uh, or whatever. But that's more money for me. So who knows? I mean, if you want to support me, that's what the Patreon's for. I'm not going to say I need money, even though I need money. <laughs> so I'm doing the best that I can at my job, trying to catch up and things. A little, a little support from Patreon would, would help. Actually, an extra, maybe one hundred or two hundred dollars, um, or no, and maybe an extra one thousand dollars a month from Patreon support could probably help. So yeah, if you guys want to help me, there's Patreon, and I, I really can't stress this enough that. You know, all the support is much appreciated. I have 630 some odd subscribers. I have 50, nearly 60 followers on Twitch. We're getting there. We're, we're, we are very much getting there. And I have some big plans uh, for the Death Eater character. 
I got plans for YouTube. Uh, I'm trying to get another mock up or or wrote up and edited and made and whatnot. I'm trying to do a, a, a collab. I'm trying to do the big collab that was delayed from like maybe a year or so ago. So yeah, a lot of big changes. A lot of things are happening. This, speaking of the big collab, this collab has been in the making for two years. We haven't really done anything because of how big the project was. We actually, um, I'm not, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this or not, but since it's technically my idea of a collab, I'll say this. We recently had to scrap our original idea, which we might end up explaining in a future podcast. Just really depends. But I don't know. If, I don't know. But me, Heats, and a lot of other people have recently gotten together again to reboot this big collab that we want to do. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're. Um, that's what the goal is: is to try to create something big for the community. We want to get as many many people that know how to make videos or that want a certain or that want certain roles within this collab. And we want to continue to do this big collab. At least put out one video all together a year. That's 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 what my goal is for this huge emergency alert system mock collab is to make one video with everybody try to get as many people as possible into making a video that knows how to make a video and can prove that they know how to make a video in and making video and make a video with me heat cats and everybody else so that's what this whole thing is going to be i knew that it was kind of coming so if um come near summertime if i start to like not stream or not do anything youtube related just know it's most likely because of the emergency alert system uh collab that i'm doing with a lot of other people <clears throat> So, you know, there's that. Thought I heard something. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, get going then. I'm going to try to figure out what I could do with that ham. If you have any ideas, let me know below. Actually, I wonder if I could just freaking start cutting it up now and take a bite. But I don't have any knives. I only have like $20 and a few other dollars left. From the advance that I got on Tuesday, I think. Either Tuesday or Wednesday. But anyways, um, that's all I have to talk about for now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate everybody who has subscribed to me. Everybody who has followed me. Everybody who has supported me so far in 2018. And it's got to be said. Hold on. Let me put my freaking phone over here real quick. It's got to be said. Okay, it's, it's, it's got to be said, I've come a long way. It, I, this, this channel has been 10 years in the making, 10 years. I've been around for 10 years and even longer from Vlog TV and Roblox. Okay, I, I've been along for, or I've been making videos, making content trying to entertain as many, as many people as possible for over 10 years. And I don't really have a lot of show for that. And it, I'd really appreciate it. I, I would really love to see 1,000 subscribers this year. It's, it's going to be a while before I get there. And YouTube is already threatening to take away even more subscribers that are inactive what, for whatever the hell that even means. So yeah, YouTube has just been constantly trying to bury me along with other, other people, other small channels that have just been trying to like get themselves up off the ground. 
like right now I'm struggling or all last year I've been struggling on money. And that's literally one of the only reasons why I haven't been making videos. It's because I've just been struggling all year long with the laptop dying at around this time last year. So, you know, it's, it's a lot to like, to say, but you know, all the support is much appreciated and that's really why I haven't really asked for anything from Patreon because I know I can do it without Patreon, but more, the more support I can get, the better. I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers that are like, oh, I, I need, I need, don't forget to, to support me on Patreon because I need the money. We know, we know everybody needs money. We need money to fucking live. We need money to keep this heat on. Or I need money, but, um, you know, I need money to try to hire people to edit my videos. And, um, I know there's Spike, Chow, and maybe a few other friends that might know how to edit videos, but I can't do that because they want to get, they want to get paid. So I can't exactly do that without paying them. So, you know, like I said, I'm not going to be that YouTuber like 90% of every other YouTuber that is going to be like, I need the money, please send money, please send help or whatever. So that's what Patreon is for. It's, it's for supporting whoever you want to support. And I'd usually be like, if you even have a dollar Support whoever you feel deserves it the most. Do I deserve it? Probably not. I don't know. Do I deserve it? I don't think I do. I really don't. I don't think I deserve anybody's money right now. And after everything that I've been through, trying to, you know, get the attention of a bunch of other YouTubers within the past year, like three or four years. Like, for example, the Yogg's cast, Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jack, um, you name them, I probably tried to get their attention. You know, it, it, it's, it's very hard for a small channel. It is. It, it really is. It's hard trying to get to a certain number of subscribers. I originally started this channel without a care in the world if I got one subscriber. And then, like, five years later, around five years later, I got 100 subscribers. 100 subscribers. Five years later. And then the next year, two... And then so on and so forth. It just kept going. And it hasn't really stopped ever since. Which is why I'm getting worried that I probably won't ever get to a thousand subscribers. Because at that point, YouTube will say, all right, well now since One Death Theater has 1,000 subscribers, let's move the monetization up another 10,000. My goal recently, as in five years recently, has been to prove YouTube wrong. That anybody can make videos, can make content, and can entertain anybody. It doesn't matter what kind of content. It doesn't matter who you have to shit talk. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you look like. As long as you have the ability to entertain you can make it. You can make it on YouTube. And YouTube will do everything in their power to bring you down. Why do you think PewDiePie wasn't in YouTube Rewind this past year? Why do you think YouTube hasn't really been actually collaborating with real content? 
Why do you think YouTube has been buddy buddying up with people like Trevor Noah that doesn't even have a YouTube channel? Companies like Comcast or ESPN or Warner Bros or T-Series. Why do you think T-Series is almost past PewDiePie? Why do you think this is going on right now? Because YouTube doesn't care. They might, they might lead you to believe that they care, like with this past Article 13 bullcrap, which I don't even know if it's even passed. It probably is. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't entirely matter. Because no matter what, YouTube just doesn't care. YouTube could probably care less if Article 13 was an actual law in the EU. Because you want to know what YouTube's going after? All that money in the Middle East. All that money in India. All that money in China. And China is one of the most fucking strictest, whatever the fuck word is, one of the more stricter countries in the freaking world. Actually, the most strict. Next to North Korea, probably. And that's probably the next fucking place I'll go. North Korea. To try to set up some fucking HQ there or whatever. To prove... YouTube wrong, I need subscribers. And again, I'm not going to be that guy that says, please help me do whatever, because that's really up to you. That's why I always say, if you want to subscribe, there's a subscribe button down below. I'm not telling you to subscribe. I might, I might say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notifications bu uh, bu uh, bell so you get notified whenever I make videos or go live. So on and so forth. Recently I've been doing these premieres for my Death Theater videos. That's probably the next thing they'll take away from, from a lot of the small channels. Because they're not big enough. They don't understand how things work. You're not a big enough channel. Yeah, well, that's why I'm going to prove them wrong. And they're probably going to prove me wrong once again when they increase the subscriber rate for monetization. Because I can assure you, as soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers, they're going to raise it. So that people like me don't ever have the ability to monetize my own videos unless I join a network, which I'm not ever going to do. If I'm going to join with anybody, it's going to be the Yogscast. I've been a huge Yogscast fan for, for a while now. For a fairly long time. Probably ever since um, their MoonQuest series, and then from there. So, you know, at the end of the day, is it going to be worth it? Is it going to be worth getting to 1,000 subscribers? Even though YouTube is going to do everything in their power to keep me away from 1,000 subscribers and to keep me from monetizing my own videos? Because I have to apparently reach some fucking view count, some fucking comment count. Got to have a certain number of comments in every video that I make. I have to reach a certain limit, a certain time limit. So, you know, at the end of the day, 
doesn't matter. Anywho, I think I've made this video long, uh, long enough, so I won't say any more. Other than if you want to support me, there's the subscribe button. There's the notification bell so you get notified whenever I make videos and go live. If you like this, don't forget to hit the like button. Share it with people that might enjoy my content. If you want to support me on Patreon, the link's down in the description below. If you've watched this entire video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this 30 minute video. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching my content. Even though it's just been me rambling on, even though it's just been me making these promises, these false promises or whatever, even though it's just me doing these updates primarily for my Twitch channel, and even though I don't really get anybody watching my Twitch channel. But you know what? I've been streaming on a daily basis, or I've been trying to stream on a daily basis, so who knows? What's in store for me? I don't really know. So, I guess we'll just find out. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow, probably. When I stream, hopefully. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.